Hello, my name is Jarrett Murray, and this is the Foundation for International Space Education, United Space School. I'm from Calgary, Canada, and I was the 2018 Western Canadian Delegate for the United Space School. The United Space School is a space school held in Houston, Texas that takes place for two weeks during the summer. Here, 50 students from over 25 different countries come together to plan a manned mission to Mars. Students range between 15 and 19 years of age, with various backgrounds. As a student, you'll have the opportunity to have lectures from astronauts, from engineers, and from all sorts of people in the aerospace industry. This is going to give you a very well-rounded comprehension of what the aerospace industry is, and is really going to help you decide what you want to do with your career. Welcome to the Hangar Flight Museum. This is one of many places from around the world that sponsors students to attend the United Space School. So my name's Lauren. I've been here at the Hangar Flight Museum for seven years now, uh, which means that I've been involved with the United Space School program for six years, helping with interviews, helping choose new students. Our mission is to inspire dreams of flight. So we're constantly trying to help people realize why early aviators wanted to do this, how they were inspired by birds, how planes developed, and sort of get people excited about being part of the industry. I think it's the experience of a lifetime. It lets somebody who is either unsure about their future or is really sure, solidify what they want to do. So now you may be wondering, what kind of student is the United Space School looking for? The answer is every kind of student. Personally, I've always had a passion for aviation. My mom who works for WestJet always made sure I got to be around all the planes, meet all the pilots, and this really sparked an interest in aviation for me. At the age of 13, I joined the Air Cadet program. And then on my 17th birthday, I received my private pilot's license. The amazing thing about the United Space School are the people that you're going to meet. Every student has different passions and interests that are truly incredible. So now let's take a look at what a day in the life of a United Space School student looks like. All students are built with host families and one to two students from different countries. Every morning you'll wake up, have breakfast, and get ready to go to school. One of my most favorite parts from space school was the car rides. Every time we drive, we talk about different topics. By the end of space school, I realized that we had very similar viewpoints on these topics, even though we are from different parts of the world. Now that you've arrived at the University of Houston, your jam-packed day of space school begins. Students are divided into five different teams and work on their projects throughout the day. Also throughout the day, guest speakers come in. For example, we received a lecture from NASA astronaut Sunita Williams and a tour of the Saturn V from George Abbey, former director of the Johnson Space Center. In addition to these guest speakers, you're literally going to be walking in history. Not only will you be able to see the Saturn V, but you're going to see a lot of things behind the scenes. For example, we have the opportunity to see the Mission Control Center, astronaut training facilities, and even the Neutral Buoyancy Laboratory. Once your day is over at school, you'll go home to your host family. Every night with your host family is different. Some nights you might just stay home and really get to know your host family. Other nights, you'll go out and really explore Texas. No matter what you're doing, your host families are absolutely incredible people, and they really make you feel like family. Being from Canada, these houses truly felt like resorts. One night, we went to Fry's Electronics. This is an electronics store in Houston that has a scale model of the International Space Station. Everything really is bigger in Texas. During my stay in Houston, I was lucky enough to log some time in a Grumman Tiger. It was absolutely incredible. I recall thinking every night before I went to bed that space school couldn't get better. And with the next day's adventures, I was always proven wrong. It didn't even really matter what we were doing because of the people we were surrounded with. It is impossible to describe the connections that you make with people from around the world other than that they are life changing.
Midway through space school, you'll have the culture fair. Here students present personal talents and traditions from their country. In the final week of space school, you'll start finalizing your team's project. This requires hours of hard work and collaboration with other teams. Personally, I was on the red team, and I was in charge of orbital mechanics and propulsion. This involved a lot of math and a lot of hard work. With the help of our mentors, teachers, and lecturers to name a few, we got it done. What you do for your project will largely depend on what team you're on. However, all teams complete countless hours of research, collaboration, and build models of what they want to send to Mars. This is the goal team. They are in charge of mission planning. This is the red team. We were in charge of designing the transit vehicle that would get our astronauts from Earth to Mars and back safely. This is the maroon team. They are in charge of the landing and ascent vehicle that get the astronauts to the surface of Mars and back up into orbit. This is the green team, or the emerald team as they like to call it. They are in charge of the Mars habitat. This is the blue team. They are in charge of Mars exploration. Once you're done your team's final presentation, you'll graduate. After graduation, I was lucky enough to receive some thoughts from Fernando Ruiz, one of the co-head teachers at the United Space School in 2018. It inspires students, like this year we had a great mentor from France, right before he, who's our cameraman right there, uh, right before space school, he wasn't sure about what to do. Now he's an accomplished engineer in the aerospace industry, working in a big company back home in France. It gives them two weeks to learn from experts, to get a real feel about what the home life and what the work life is like working for a company like NASA, working in the space industry. It gives them a really good solid physical experience which helps propel them through university. It gives them the ability to know, this is why I'm learning this, this is why I'm doing this, this is what it's gonna take me to do. And now that they've seen the home life and they've seen the work life, they can say, yes, that feels like me. One of our students one year actually got to stay with Chris Hadfield before Chris Hadfield was what he is now. We were going back through some paperwork last year and we're like, what do you mean you were billeted with Chris Hadfield? And that at the time seemed average and seems now to us amazing. As great as it gets. You have sharp students as yourself from 27 plus countries, international mentors in the NASA and beyond. Then you have sharp students with different ideas and people willing to embrace different and willing to learn from each other and teach us a lot as teachers we learn, we learn a lot out of you it's such a great program they will for sure know what they is what is it that they want to do with their lives as we're down here with with space school this life-changing experience is only made possible by industry experts and FICE board members who spend countless hours planning this amazing program and changing students' lives. Returning home to my passions, I'm thankful. Every time I fly, I feel some sense of peace. As my wheels leave the ground, I feel like I'm being welcomed home, as though this is where I'm meant to be. I had the same feeling at Space School. The feeling of flying is incredible. I feel as though the chains of gravity have been ripped away and I'm free to roam like a bird. When I feel this freedom, I'm reminded of space school. As my wings surrender to gravity, I feel some longing to be back in the air. But as I look back at the runway, I realize that's where I took off from, and that that's where I will take off from again. This reminds me of space school. I often think back to the car rides. When I think about them, I remember talking and connecting, and that all the way from different parts of the world, we're still made of the same stuff. 
Returning home, that's what I thought about. The people, the memories, the connections. In the end, all of our hard work paid off and we truly achieved something incredible. This challenge united us and it truly brought us together as the United Space School. That's what I remember. Being surrounded by aerospace changed our perceptions of what's really possible. We were welcomed to the homes of so many incredible American families that made us feel like family. All of our hard work brought us together. And not only did it bring us together, but it helped us make a new family. As we landed back in our own countries, it didn't feel like anything was ending. I felt like we were just starting a new beginning. We're now part of a new family, and we're ready to go to Mars.